is up guys EJ here back with another video and today it's gonna to be my blu-ray DVD collection for 2020 and uh, thriller part 2 so um, up first we have uh, the Ghost Rider from uh, 2010 yeah good little film uh, with uh, Pierce Brosnan, Ewan McGregor, uh, Kim Cattrall, uh, Olivia Williams uh, yeah good film directed by uh, Roman Polanski up next we have uh, The Girl on the Train from uh, 2016, um, yeah, with Emily Blunt, uh, Rebecca Ferguson, big fan of her. Uh, not as good as, say, the book is, was advertised, but I still enjoyed it. Um, up next we have Gone uh, from uh, 2012 with uh, Amanda Seyfried, not great from what I remember, but I'm a big fan of her as an actress, um, so I enjoyed it. Up next we have Gone Girl. A uh, fantastic film from 2014, uh, directed by David Fincher, one of my favorites of that year, Ben Affleck, uh, Rosamund Pike, uh, just a fantastic movie. Up next we have uh, Hannibal uh, from uh, 2001, of course, directed by uh, Ridley Scott, with uh, Anthony Hopkins reprising his role of uh, Hannibal Lecter, uh, Julianne Moore. Um, as uh, Clarice Starling, uh, special edition, Gary Oldman, of course. Um, yeah, I don't have all my like Silence of the Lambs stuff uh, together. I probably should put them together. <clears throat> Up next, we have uh, Hard Candy from 2005, terrific film uh, with Ellen Page and Patrick Wilson, uh, Sandra O. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me, sounds like I got a frog in my throat. Um, up next we have uh, How I Live Now, um, yeah, good little film uh, from uh, 2013 with uh, Sasha Ronan, uh, kind of went under the radar from that year. Up next we have In the Line of Fire uh, from 1993, yeah, really good film directed by uh, Wolfgang Peterson with uh, Clint Eastwood, of course, uh, John Malkovich and uh, Rene Russo, special edition. Um, next, we have uh, The International, um, yeah, fun movie from uh, 2009 with uh, Clive Owen and Naomi Watts. I liked it a lot when I uh, initially saw it. Up next, we have uh, The Jacket uh, from 2005, yeah, good, good little movie with uh, Adrian Brody and uh, Keira Knightley. Up next, we have uh, Jaws. Uh, and Anniversary Collector's Edition, absolute classic, of course, Steven Spielberg's um, groundbreaking movie uh, from 1975, Roy Scheider, Richard Dreyfuss, and uh, the always great Robert Shaw, love him, <coughs> as Captain Quint. Up next, we have uh, Joyride um, uh, from 2001, yeah, good movie with uh, uh, Paul Walker, Steve Zahn, uh, Lily Sobieski. What's happened to her recently? I haven't seen her in a while. Up next, we have uh, California uh, from 1993. I always think of Arnold Schwarzenegger trying to say California when I see this title. Uh, from uh, 1993, uh, Brad Pitt, uh, Juliette Lewis. Up next, we have uh, Man on the Ledge, um, Blu-ray from uh, 2012. Yeah, Sam Worthington, uh, Elizabeth Banks, uh, Jamie Bell, Anthony Mackey, Genesis uh, Rodriguez, uh, Ed Harris. Yeah, good movie. I liked it a lot. Next, we have uh, Man on Fire from uh, 2004. This was uh, Denzel's Tony Scott phase, um, All Access Collector's Edition. I like this film a lot. Um, yeah, Dakota Fanning is the little girl. Um, I should get a Deja Vu, because I don't have that movie, and I sort of enjoyed Deja Vu. Uh, next we have another Alfred Hitchcock classic, uh, The Man Who Knew Too Much, uh, from 1956, uh, with, uh, Jimmy Stewart and, uh, Doris Day. Of course, has the famous song, um, Que Sera, uh, by, uh, Doris Day made famous in that movie. Um, up next we have uh, the original uh, The Manchurian Candidate from uh, 1962 uh, special edition with uh, Frank Sinatra, Jeanette Lee, uh, Lawrence Harvey, Angela Lansbury is fantastic in this film. And I also got the uh, 2004 remake with uh, Denzel 
uh, Meryl Streep and Liv Schreiber. Not too bad, but not as good as the original. Up next, we have uh, Manhunter, the original uh, Hannibal Lecter film. Um, yeah, William Peterson from uh, CSI. Uh, really good in this. Um, yeah, good movie, Manhunter from 1986. Up next, we have Marathon Man from uh, 1976. Fantastic film. Uh, Dustin Hoffman, Lawrence Olivier, Roy Scheider, uh, William Devane. Up next, we have uh, another Hitchcock classic, uh, Marnie, uh, from 1964 with uh, Sean Connery and uh, Tippi Hedren. Alright guys, moving on down. Up next, we have uh, Match Point uh, from 2005. Terrific film by uh, Woody Allen with uh, Jonathan Rhys Myers and Scarlett Johansson, uh, Brian Cox, Matthew Good, uh, Emily Mortimer. Um, yeah, fantastic movie. One of my favorite Woody Allen films of the past 20 years. Up next, we have uh, Michael Clayton, a uh, fantastic movie from 2007 with uh, George Clooney, uh, Tom Wilkinson, Tilda Swinton, uh, Sidney Pollock. Up next, we have uh, Misery, um, absolute classic, of course, from 1990. Kathy Bates and James Caan, just fantastic. A uh, nice collector's edition, kind of uh, made to look like a book. Up next, we have uh, The Net. Um, yeah, techno thriller from uh, 1995 with uh, Sandra Bullock. Of course, uh, after she uh, did, the, uh, did Speed, she was a big thing back then. Up next, we have uh, Nick of Time, uh, also from uh, 1995 with uh, Johnny Depp and uh, Christopher Walken. Up next, we have uh, No Way Out um, from uh, 1987. Uh, yeah, good movie with uh, Kevin Costner and uh, Gene Hackman. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Up next, we have uh, North by Northwest. Um, probably my absolute favorite uh, Alfred Hitchcock film. Uh, 50th Anniversary Edition. Um, just a fantastic movie with uh, Cary Grant, uh, Ava Marie Saint, and uh, James Mason. Up next, we have uh, the original uh, Old Boy from uh, 2000, 2003. Um, fantastic film by uh, Park Chan-wook. Um, and I also have the, uh, wow, I like skipping over stuff. This is how I'm, I skip stuff by putting shit back in the wrong order. So yeah, like I was saying, I also have the remake, uh, from 2013 by, uh, Spike Lee with, uh, Josh Brolin, Elizabeth Olsen, uh, Shelto Copley. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Okay. Up next, we have uh, One Hour Photo from uh, 2002. Yeah, great performance by uh, Robin Williams. Um, this in, uh, in Insomnia, he did the same year, and they were very different roles from what he uh, normally did. Up next, we have uh, Open Water uh, from 2004, another sort of shark uh, thriller. Um, about a couple on vacation who got stuck out in the ocean. Um, up next we have uh, Out of the Furnace um, from, I want to say 2011, something like that, with uh, Christian Bell and Woody Harrelson, uh, Casey Affleck, uh, Willem Dafoe, uh, Zoe Saldana, Sam Shepard. Uh, good film, that. Make sure stuff's back in the right order here. Up next we have Outbreak. Uh, from 1995, absolutely love this film. I rewatched it this year for uh, obvious reasons. Uh, Dustin Hoffman, Rene Russo, Morgan Freeman, uh, Donald Sutherland, uh, Kevin Spacey. Uh, fantastic movie, of course, about a uh, Ebola-like virus breakout in Northern California. Um, very, uh, very topical film. Along with Contagion, I mean, those are the two films you had to watch in quarantine. Uh, but, yeah, we definitely watched Outbreak. Um, up next, we have uh, Pacific Heights uh, from uh, 1990 with um, 
Melanie Griffith and uh, Michael Keaton, Matthew Modine. So this, God, these slip, these ones with the uh, the snapper cases, they're a little ragged, man. The bottom of this is coming apart. Okay, let's clip that back into place so it's not falling apart here. God, I hate snapper cases, and I got a whole bunch of them. Uh, Panic Room, uh, 2002, fantastic movie, of course, by David Fincher. Uh, special edition with uh, Jodie Foster, uh, Forrest Whitaker, Jared Leto. Um, great movie, Panic Room. And on to another snapper case, which is going to give me problems, of course. Ugh. Again, this one's like falling apart, too. Can't clip it back in here. I'm trying to. Alright. Um, yeah, Perfect Murder uh, from 1998. Um, yeah, remake of uh, Dial M for Murder with uh, Michael Douglas, Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, Vigo Mortensen. Look at young Vigo right there, looking handsome. I'll leave that up there. Um, so up next we have uh, Phone Booth. Um, yeah, really good Joel Schumacher film from uh, 2003 with uh, Colin Farrell and uh, um, Kiefer Sutherland, uh, Forrest Whitaker. I remember seeing this in theaters when it came out. Up next we have uh, Ransom uh, from uh, 1996. Uh, yeah, Ron Howard film with uh, Mel Gibson, of course. Special uh, edition DVD. Up next we have uh, The Raven uh, from 2012. Um, yeah, with John Cusack uh, based on Edgar Allan Poe. Um, yeah, I liked it quite a bit. Up uh, next we have Ravenous uh, from 1999, uh, really great movie with uh, Guy Pearce and Robert Carlyle, David Arquette. About what people will go to uh, to survive out in the wild. Up next we have uh, Red Dragon, another uh, Hannibal Lecter film of course, uh, Collectors Edition from 2002, uh, Edward Norton, Anthony Hopkins. Uh, is it uh, Ralph Fiennes, Ray Fiennes, or is it Joseph Fiennes? I believe it's, uh, I can't even read that. <laughs> Harvey Keitel, um, Emma Watson. Um, yeah, I enjoyed uh, Red Dragon. Um, maybe more than Hannibal, I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since I've seen it. Anyway, never mind. Uh, up next, we have uh, Reindeer Games from uh, 2000. Uh, not a great film, but I enjoy it. Ben Affleck and Charlize Theron. Uh, Gary Sinise uh, makes a good bad guy in this film. Um, all right, guys, moving on. Up next, we have uh, Rising Sun uh, from uh, 1993 with uh, Sean Connery and uh, Wesley Snipes. Um, Tia Carrera. Always love her from back in the day. Up next, we have uh, Runaway Train uh, from uh, 1985. Yeah, really good film with uh, John Voight, uh, Eric Roberts, uh, Rebecca De Mornay. <clears throat> Up next, we have uh, The Russia House uh, from uh, 1990 with uh, Sean Connery and uh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Up next, we have uh, Alfred Hitchcock's uh, Saboteur from uh, 1942 with uh, Robert Cummings and uh, Priscilla Lane. Up next, we have uh, Seven, of course, a fantastic film. Um, David Fincher, classic. Uh, Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt, Kevin Spacey. Uh, just a fantastic movie. New Line Platinum Series Edition, very nice. Uh, up next, we have uh, The Silence of the Lambs, uh, Collector's Edition. Of course, uh, Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins, Scott Glenn. Uh, fantastic movie, of course, directed by Jonathan Demme. Um, I also have uh, the Criterion Collection edition of uh, The Silence of the Lambs. Okay, up next, we have uh, Sorcerer uh, from uh, 1977. Uh, yeah, William Freakin film with uh, Roy Scheider. Uh, back in the right place. Up next, we have uh, Split uh, from uh, 2017. Yeah, James McAvoy, of course, um, as uh, the Horde <clears throat> and the Beast or whatever. Um, his multiple personality uh, um, criminal, uh, M. Night Shyamalan. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, along with Unbreakable and Glass, um, I like all three of these films. Um, but I would say Split is probably my least favorite of the three. Alright, up next we have uh, the Taken Trilogy. Uh, the first one, of course, um, from 2009. Liam Neeson, Maggie Grace, fantastic. Uh, two discs, uh, extended cuts. I like the first one a lot, but then they progressively got worse, as you would expect. Uh, Taken 2, uh, unrated cut from uh, 2012. And uh, Taken 3 from um, uh, 2015. Is this the one where uh, his wife gets killed? Famke Jansen? I think that's uh, Taken 3. <clears throat> Alright, up next we have uh, the original uh, The Taking of Pelham 123 um, from uh, 1974. Uh, Walter Matthau, Robert Shaw. Like I said, I'm a big fan of him as an actor. Um, I, I saw the remake uh, with uh, John Travolta um, and I think it's Denzel, uh, but I didn't love that film, the remake, so that's why I don't have it. Alright, up next we have uh, the talented uh, Mr. Ripley from uh, 1999, fantastic film by Anthony Minghella, of course, uh, Matt Damon, Jude Law, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, a fantastic movie, great looking film, um, Kate Blanchett as well, love her. <clears throat> One of the best films in 1999. Up next, another uh, Hitchcock film. We've got all these Alfred Hitchcock masterpiece uh, collection DVDs, as you can see. Um, yeah, Topaz from uh, 1969 with uh, Frederick Stafford and uh, John Forsyth. As I mentioned earlier, Unbreakable from uh, 2000, definitely one of my favorite M. Night Shyamalan films, uh, Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson, Vista series, very nice uh, addition here, absolutely love Unbreakable, and like I said, I like Glass a lot, Split was okay, um, but yeah, probably should put those all together too, and do they do they belong in the superhero uh, collection is a, is a good question as well. Uh, up next we have Unstoppable, uh, like Runaway Train, basically the same concept, uh, yeah, but good thriller, Denzel and uh, Chris Pine uh, from 2010, I liked it a lot. Ugh. Up next, we are tight in here and of course run into another snapper case, <laughs> Wait Until Dark uh, from uh, 1967, fantastic film of course with uh, Audrey Hepburn, uh, Richard Crenna and uh, Alan Arkin, again put that up there, make it easier for me. Uh, War Games from 1983, fantastic film, absolutely love this movie from the 80s. Uh, Matthew Broderick and Ali Sheedy, uh, Dabney Coleman, John Wood, just one, of, just one of the great 80s classics that I grew up watching. And uh, last but not least for thrillers, uh, we have uh, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane from uh, 1962, uh, two disc spe special edition, uh, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford, uh, just an absolute classic. Uh, so that is uh, Thrillers, uh, part two. Up next will be uh, my war section. I love war movies. Um, and we should be able to bang that out in one video. So uh, thank you for watching as always. And until next time, I'll see ya. Bond. James Bond.